New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax 32, night 10. This took place this morning. Going to break down the results. If this is your first time checking us out, we're the Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. So please be sure you like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. I am the Paresu Fly God. I am Stardust Yaku. I am Balencia Naito, El Toro Negro. Many, many, many names and aliases. But tonight, let's talk about this G1 Climax, ladies and gentlemen. So, like I said, night 10, man. The first tournament match we had, we had the Great Okan taking on and defeating Tomohiro Ishii around 12 minutes and 57 seconds. He got the victory via the Eliminator right here. And with his record being one and three right now, that being Ishii, same record pretty much as Great Okan. Not the same record as Great Okan, but they have the same number of points. That effectively eliminates Tomohiro Ishii right here. This is still a banger of a match, though, if you ask me. I like this match immensely. So, Moving on up the card, we got Toriano taking on Tom Lawler in the first time meeting. We get Tom Lawler getting the victory via nasty knee on the brain, and Lawler gets the victory right here. This is an excellent, like, fun match. Not excellent, this is a really fun match that I enjoyed right here. Yano had been watching his tapes and doing his homework on Tom Lawler, so I thought that was cool. But yeah, this was just a solid fun match by these guys right here, and I had a good time watching it. Moving on up the card, we got Sonata taking on Tamatonga right here. And this is the fifth time in the last six G1s that these two have met. They have a record of two and two between each other. Tamatonga gets the victory, of course, via the gunstone right here. This is a banger of a match. These two, this is pretty, pretty solid. This might be my favorite match that these two have had with each other. So shout out to those guys. The penultimate match of the show, we had Kenta taking on Roki Goto right here. We get Kenta getting the victory over Goto with a go to sleep. It was kind of a sketchy go to sleep, though. He had to attempt it twice, so I thought that's pretty sketchy. Kenta gets the victory right here. Moving on, I thought this was solid. Uh, you know, we have Goto, he kind of started off pretty strong. Now he's kind of stumbling a little bit. Kenta's next match is going to be Naito on August 9th. Goto next takes on Jack Saber, Zach, not Jack, Zach Saber Jr. on August 6th. So, in the main event, in the shocker upset right here, we have. David Finley taking on and defeating Will Ospreay right here. He got the victory with the Trash Panda with the roll-up. And, yeah, Finley's on top of the D-block right now. Not only does he have possession of the IWGP United States Heavyweight title, he's just uh, garnered himself a title shot. Like I said, he's in the driver's seat as David Finley. So, shout out to him. I thought this was overall a good show. Uh, the G1 matches that I watched were very consistent. I watched all the G1 matches, but the G1 matches are very consistent. We had some surprises here and there. We're heading into the second half of the tournament right now, so you're most, more than likely going to be waiting until the knockout portion for anything to really make a mark here. So, yeah, on your prediction bracket, whatever you want to call it. But, no, I thought this was a silent night of G1 action. We won't, ha we won't have any more G1 action until Friday. And then we have a three-shot, triple shot. We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, excuse me. So, we're off for a couple days, but we uh, take back off on Friday. So, we're the almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Please be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell a friend and tell a friend. Like I said, this is a short, sweet, brief reaction to g1 climax night 10 hope you enjoyed it tell a friend to tell a friend to like this and subscribe so start a shiaku blunt to your night i am about this bitch peace